Confederation of Indian Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Global Council for the Promotion of International Trade, is proud to host world's biggest exhibition come conference called Global Women in Trade Summit 2021. This program will be celebrated with 100 global women leaders, 300 exhibitors, and 30 plus countries are going to participate. And it's four days long celebration. And this international trade is for collaboration, mm -hmm. networking, branding, and many more. So here with me, the amazing, beautiful lady, Soumya, who is a food scientist and um, founder of uh, Milanova Food. Let's uh, go through her journey, listen to uh, her journey, her social, social uh, uh, responsibility, entrepreneurship journey from her mouth and how did it start and how is it going and how she is managing everything doing from the entrepreneurship to family. Let's listen to her story from her mouth. Hi, Soumya, welcome. To the hello, hello Namita. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Hi. Yeah. So how has the how has the uh, story? I mean, uh, your journey started entrepreneurship. You are uh, you are a uh, you know food scientist. That's really interesting. So and you are bringing amazing snacking um, you know possibility for us. So tell mm -hmm. us something about those stories. Where it started? Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, this idea, I got this idea, uh, basically I'm very much interested about my subject and also passion about the innovation. Uh, besides this encouragement with my mentors and inspirational uh, uh, mentors and uh, teachers I worked with, uh, with them. So with these combinations, I have think about uh, new innovation and uh, come up with a new idea, that idea I have converted into the business. Yeah, basically the innovative idea is uh, is with uh, a millet fruit and vegetable combination uh, oh. in the snack form. I have introduced um, uh, and that to uh, balance nutrition uh, that is very much important uh, nowadays. Everyone is busy with their life uh, schedules and uh, running hurry burry and uh, missing their nutrition. Uh, so uh, keeping view uh, all these things in. Uh, uh, in way, so I have uh, designed the unique uh, snacking options for the people. Yes. Great. <laughs> and you have 14 plus years of experience and you have came up with four products like millet, pulses, fruits and vegetables. Yes. So as a, uh, as a uh, scientist, food scientist, of course, it's not, uh, uh, you know, new for you. You must have worked hard, really hard for this. So who inspires you? Um, like if you say uh, somebody in your uh, family or uh, somebody from outside or it is only the, uh, you know, the problem that is uh, there in food industry. Yeah. Yeah. My inspiration, uh, initial inspiration uh, uh, based on my, I mean, knowledge and my family also supported. And uh, basically I worked in... Uh, um, I worked in different uh, farming communities um, and agri uh, like uh, uh, so different village communities. Uh, my first job was in the village. So I connected with the different uh, women entrepreneurs. And I used to give training uh, different women entrepreneurs on different income generation activities. In that way, I have, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in that way, I have created my interest. Uh, I can uh, able to, I mean, trying them, uh, I can give uh, different uh, technical aspects, guidance to them. Uh, so in that way, I have uh, inspiration uh, I have uh, got. Yes. Great, that's so nice. And I, I can see that uh, you have, uh, I have learned from your profile that you have lot of done a lot of uh, uh, social services like in the interior area. So tell me something about that. Yeah. Uh, my first job was in the village, as I already told you, like, um, uh, so it's in Mahbub Nagar district. I worked uh, as a uh, program coordinator. Now, uh, it was a really challenging job for me in my first, in career. That, is, that was the first job. Then I used to travel almost 50 kilometers a day. 
and so and now it used to uh, connect with the different tribal communities uh, you know uh, uh, that is a very difficult uh, uh, task and that too challenging uh, thing uh, and uh, uh, whenever uh, and i used to conduct different health training programs pregnant and lactating women uh, and health workers uh, and uh, and explaining about the new uh, innovative things income generation activities women empowerment all these things i used to train them yeah, used to train them so uh, in the interior villages i observed that uh, all malnutrition kids yeah so one time uh, i have uh, really uh, felt very uh, this thing like um, the one malnutrition child he really is the third grade malnutrition um, stage no one is there uh, to take care about him one uh, small uh, another her sister is there she is also very small she is also very uh, worse condition uh, so no one is there to feed them in the proper way uh so i used to collect uh, funds from my organization and my colleagues and used to uh, collect different uh, healthy foods and i used to uh, serve them uh in the uh, later i have decided that uh, with the, in the village uh, uh, whatever the uh, resources available you know, with those things i have created some uh, nutritional foods and uh, um, and given training to the uh, village level health workers Uh, i created some products like that and uh, they used to uh, i mean feed them regularly uh, that was a really uh, happy thing and that, that is a great satisfaction to me now what we are doing is uh, uh, what the job satisfaction is uh, very much important so in that way i have uh, connected with the different uh, farming communities and farmers and children I have created different products. In in after that, uh, you know, uh, my product concept also come up with the innovation. Like uh, it's a present scenario. No one is uh, you know, taking the balance nutrition. Balance is very important in every aspect. In the uh, in the uh, balance nutrition also very much vital uh, for our uh, health uh, thing. So in that way, I have created the new formulations uh, with the millet, fruit, and vegetable. that is a uh, millets are the power house of nutrients now uh, when we combine with the fruits and vegetables definitely the combination will be very good that concept everything i have designed with my experiences and my knowledge i applied and i only designed a product and each combination what they are taking is uh, not important what absorbing in the uh, inside is that is also very important mean that way i have created each formulation like a beetroot is a rich in iron lemon is the enhancer uh, to absorb the iron thing uh, so in that way i have created them in ginger and honey is a, another variation like ginger and honey if we give a, a directly to the children they won't eat even we also yes. in the snacking form if we can the immunity uh, will be very good and the boosting capacity uh, also will be, we can enhance in their uh, nutrition in that way uh, these uh, have come up with these kind of four snacks uh, and in, in the chips form that to be because children they are more attracting to the chips kind of right so in that way they are they are assuming that they are eating the chips but they are eating very healthy chips you know yes <laughs> and that to be one plate uh, in one meal they can um, have almost 60 grams of vegetables in that way i have created formula Uh, and as per the icmr guidelines uh, the rd recommended dietary allowances i have made that uh, in this uh, 30% almost this is scientifically uh, evidence uh, based on scientific evidence i have created the formulations uh, when i was working simultaneously i was um, i was thinking about this concept i have to come up with a new concept uh, with a new product uh, that has to be helpful for the society because the lifestyle disorders mm-hmm. are increasing a lot uh, so it's a correction is very much important in that way i have uh, thought and created uh, these kind of snacks and that to energy bars are also another category uh, so energy bars you can see this is a uh, millet and goji berry and chocolate is another variant chocolate mm-hmm. is a super antioxidant and goji berry is also very much a good antioxidant profile in that way the combined the millets and nuts uh, and pulses and fruits and vegetables in all the nutrients in one bar they can have it as a balanced nutrition that too they can meet the 30% of rda and another variant is like a breakfast replacement and the immunity bar probiotic uh, in the corona time i have introduced this kind of bar it's a 
probiotic, the gut microflora will be very good uh, when they're having this kind of snack. And that too, the immunity, amla and ginger is a very good immunity that to antioxidant. Uh, for the present lifestyle scenario and uh, lifestyle uh, diseases, they can control and uh, they will get very good immunity, these kind of snacks. In the, each formulation uniquely are designed. Basically, my education, my um, sub subject knowledge helped me a lot to create this kind of uh, formulations. And my mentors and uh, my... Uh, 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 Actually, this is, helped this is me very much in need of the hour. We yeah. need to have healthy food. And you are uh, showing the snacks. You are just tempting me. It's snacking <laughs> time. So, and I just, just lovely to know that how you are working with, um, you know, farmers and the uh, very, uh, you know, neglected people. And you have uh, served them. You had that opportunity to serve them in various way. You have leave some of the impact on them. That's the greater part, I would say. And it's the uh, most beautiful social uh, responsibility you have served. So how you are now in the market, how you promote your product? Yeah, we, uh, uh, as a woman entrepreneur, uh, we can do it. I can able to do it, all the innovation and uh, product development and production things. Marketing is a challenge. So initially, I have connected with the different uh, organizations, um, uh, and we connected with the organic stores. Uh, we are doing, uh, and that too, with the direct customers through, we have created our own website. Uh, from our website, also we are able to doing, and that too, multi-channel level, like distributors and uh, organic stores, we are giving our uh, project. We uh, want to scale up this market in the next level. Great, great. That's great. So, um, what what is uh, like uh, what is your make or break moment in your career? Yeah, uh, making moments are uh, you know uh, when uh, I very much interested about uh, writing articles and publications. I have published so many articles in national and international journals. Uh, so, uh, so in that way, I have. Uh, uh, submitted one uh, article uh, article and concept uh, uh, in CFTR, uh, in the International Food Convention event. So there, that is the first encouragement I have received among the 7,000 people I have received the best concept award. That is a very good encouragement as initial in the, in the first second month of my concept design. Uh, I have received that is the best con innovation award I have received. And another one, um, in the one in 100 women from ISB Indian School of Business and Action India Forum, I have received Best Social Enterprise Award uh, uh, <laughs> from uh, Action India Forum. And that is the second encouragement. And I also mm -hmm. uh, connect with the different organizations. They also recognized as a smart food entrepreneur uh, from CFTRI. Uh, and uh, IEMR, Indian Institute of Military Research, also encouraged me a lot in the granting and financial support and uh, different mentoring support they have given uh, to us. Yeah, in that is in the... Um, uh, uh, those are all very, I mean, uh, encouraging moments. In the whenever we are uh, organizing the stalls, customers also used to support me a lot. Uh, so these kind of snacks has to come to the market because uh, children, they, they definitely they, there is a need to change their uh, pattern because they are not having regular proper diet. They are addicting to the junk food and they are almost having to the different kinds of junk like biscuits and all. So healthy options need to be uh, come up, come up. So in that way, they have encouraged me a lot. And uh, in that way, and then the breaking moments is um, and one more thing is like uh, self satisfaction. I could able to, uh, I mean, helping to the farming communities because millets, uh, no one is uh, uh, everyone. They believe that millets, uh, uh, millets, uh, uh, there is no uh, proper sale. I mean, good. Uh, uh, harvesting procedures, uh, uh, they don't know most knowledge about the millet, how to grow and how to uh, market. Uh, market. And that way I have uh, connected with the different marginal farming communities. I guide them and I teach them how to, uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, how they can uh, uh, 
uh, grow the millet, how the benefits, it's a rain fed crop, you know. Uh, so if, if, if suppose in the rice and other things, there uh, mean uh, the ecosystem is a very costly in process. For the millets, it's a rain fed crop. Every three months they can get the income. In that way, they got, uh, they got the confidence uh, in the, with the low budgeting, they can get the more income. In that way, it can help them to uh, increase their income that is uh, connected with the different farming communities and giving trainings to them and in that way. That is another making moment and uh, breaking moment. Uh, it's like, uh, it's a challenging as a woman entrepreneur in the starting uh, your business in the initial levels. Uh, all my family members uh, settled in the government jobs and uh, uh, private sector IT high level fields. Uh, so, and the first uh, uh, started business in my family. Um, <clears throat> the challenging uh, convincing them uh, uh, to move forward in a business. And another thing is the marketing is a challenging thing to me. Mm. And, uh, and the two. Uh, uh, my partner is also came into business <laughs> uh, with the partner, life partner convincing and uh, in the marketing. Mm -hmm. That was a little difficult for me. Uh, so um, initially, later we connected with the different organizations. Uh, so then uh, we have come up with a track now. <laughs> yeah. I would like to congratulate you for all of your achievements. It's really so much inspiring to listen to all of those things, all of your achievements, what you have done in your life. And it's really beautiful. It, you must have a beautiful journey and you're going to cherish it, I'm sure, in your, uh, in your uh, whole life and you're going to tell your story to your kids. So yes, so how, how you do the, that balancing? Yeah. Uh, balancing, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, balancing is a really difficult thing because the managing uh, kids and uh, managing these things, uh, it's a really difficult. We need to be sacrificed few things. But at the same time, whenever uh, we get the time, uh, my kids are also very much interested about the cooking practices. Wow. wow. <laughs> so I involve them in cooking <laughs> along with me. Uh, so uh, they helped me a lot in cooking and we all together um, uh, do some fun and we uh, do uh, cooking and uh, also I help them in different projects. It's really, uh, it will give uh, very much satisfaction when we spend time with the kids. Yes. You know, it's a rejuvenating really. Uh, so in a small, small project, we can explain more to them. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I involve in their projects, small projects, uh, when they're very much interested about learning new uh, food products, you know, they're making wow. cookies in the healthy way. In that way, uh, I can, um, in that way, I have created the uh, interest. And you actually created that value in them. Yes, you are actually building the next level entrepreneurs. That's great. That's great, actually. <laughs> yes. So what do you look for uh, in an employee? Yeah, for uh, employee uh, dedication and discipline and enthusiasm, to learn the new things and uh, adaptability to the uh, circumstances that is very important. This uh, in the competitive world, uh, it's a, a very much important to uh, learn learn new things and the adaptability to the situations and circumstances. It depends upon the situation. They have to uh, they have to act very proactively. Uh, so in I always uh, in my employees and my interns always interns are also been come to us to learn new things. Always uh, train them as an entrepreneur because you know and as an entrepreneur that deal they have been uh, they will have that kind of deal to learn new things. Yeah. How can we act and how can we um, uh, proactiveness? How it has to be? Uh, we have to act like that. Uh, they will think. Right. Absolutely right. That has to be there. The value that you have to invest in, in, in uh, them. Yes, that's great. And I believe you are uh, really a valuable person too. And you can easily, you know, rub off that uh, quality to anyone just you came across. 
So how you establish your credibility easily? Uh, my credibility, like um, uh, one thing, uh, I have come up with the innovation. Uh, so customer support uh, and family support. Uh, <laughs> these things uh, really, I feel it's a great credit. Uh, so in that way, so I thought. <laughs> Yeah, we can see that most many many organizations are acknowledging your work. So of course, uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, what do you say? Also, very important but, thing: the credibility also uh, from different organizations supporting women entrepreneur. Uh, in uh, in the starting journey, it was like very much confusion. How we have to start? How we have to connect with the people? how we have to sell our product, how we have to so talk with them. Did you face them. that uh, problem because you are a woman or uh, did you face some kind of problem because uh, you're a woman and uh, it is hard to get through? Any kind yeah. of challenge as such? Yeah, uh, challenges, uh, challenges, yeah, definitely. Uh, convincing with the people, uh, that is a great challenge. With the new, uh, generally people believe it's a branded product. Uh, we can go with the brand, but convincing about the new product is the uh, challenging. If it is, uh, 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 how can uh, I mean? Uh, it is very good product, and with uh, very much uh, innovation, we came. But the convincing the customer is uh, uh, very uh, that is very important. That uh, my uh, subject knowledge and uh, um, subject knowledge helped me a lot to convince them. Because as a nutritionist, I can convince them. Uh, I could able to convince them because I can able to understand, making understand them the present scenario, how we have to, that diet change patterns have to be, uh, and uh, how we have to, uh, I mean, uh, connect with the different uh, nutritional uh, uh, foods, how it would be helpful uh, to control the lifestyle disorders. In that way, I convince them. Uh, I could, I could able to convince the customers. Yeah. <laughs> And what will be your suggestion to a person who's a, you know, a, a woman who's entering into entrepreneurship? What do you say? Yeah, uh, in the entrepreneurship, um, you know, generally the discipline is very important. The active role uh, is very important. And the proactiveness is very important because uh, every people and that too uh, coming uh, suppose uh, in in a food sector all the people are coming uh, so, so don't think about competitor is coming we also should come uh, with any kind of product but that is not good yeah and just connect with people organizations are there people are there to help you uh, to come up with the right product because when once we give the right product we can uh, change the um, um people uh, mindset so if we come up with a i mean uh, just like a product uh, just they don't believe uh, because uh, all the people will come in the same way they say about the no preservatives uh, it's a uh, healthy like that the same word they will follow but the, once we uh, come up with the, any product and any process uh, in the proper way proper channel the licensing patterns and come up with the formulation r and d is very much important for the especially for the food products uh, so um, organizations are there universities are there to guide the uh, women entrepreneurs in the food sector uh, so they have to uh, come with the proper research and come out with the best products mm, in the oh, uh, in the food sector if anyone comes to is uh, i'm there to help you all women entrepreneurs in the food sector Definitely, I'll do my best sure. to them. Sure, mm -hmm. that is so lovely conversation with Soumya, and I thoroughly enjoyed all of your journey, your story, your social responsibility, and your entrepreneur journey. Really, I never ever enjoyed so much converse with the conversation, and I love being, you know, uh, listening to stories of the uh, women, of course, and. Uh, I just love your journey, I would like to tell you. And thank you so much for being that you are and what you're doing. Keep doing uh, it and uh, all the best to all of your future endeavors. And we are um, closing, we are going to close. Yeah, Namita, I, will, I would like to intervene here. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm really blessed to have a TS team, like, you know, everybody have their own 
strengths and you know they are really trying to help women especially about soumya i would like to mention she is very positive person and 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 she she always says comes she is ready for like if if you say that you know this is the activity soumya you have to go ahead she says yes there will be never no and whatever uh, you know one thing she mentions i believe in you madam i'll just go ahead and do that she'll not even as a second because you know now when i looked at her journey now and I'm, i'm understanding how the roots have been formed that is so inspiring. real congratulations soumya we are really yeah. proud of you Love and many you. entrepreneurs need you and the formers yes. I'm, i'm really amazed Yes, God ma'am. bless you. God bless you. bless you so much. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Wish you all the best. Great inspiration yes. from Pravina ma'am and Apna, uh, Aparna ma'am and Anju ma'am. Great leaders uh, is there in uh, CAMSME team. Uh, so I really blessed to connect with the CAMSME team. Pravina ma'am always support me. Yes, and they are. They are. Yes. Yeah. Yes, That's a great opportunity. Let's really talk. So blessed to amazing, connect with amazing. you. Amazing. Amazing. So amazing. so much energy these people have you know you will get uh, you know the rub of those energies into and we are we are very thankful and we are closing the uh, interview thank you so much santosh ji thank you so much somya thank you so much pravina for being there and giving me this opportunity have a great day